What is going on guys? Welcome to your, let's see, sixth, I think, HTML tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to start talking to you guys about something called pseudo classes. Now, pseudo classes is something we got in CSS3 and it gives us more control over the styling of our website. So let me go ahead and add something. Again, I cleared everything out in my main CSS. So we're pretty much working with this main blank template. And I'm going to go ahead and add a div and I'm going to give it an ID of mommy. Now I'm going to be giving it this ID name because I want to represent how this is a parent of all the things inside it because I can't remember in my XHTML tutorials if I talk to you guys about parents and children but basically whenever you have a tag anything inside that tag is the child for example this paragraph is a child of this div and this div likewise is a parent of this paragraph so that's kind of the structure everything inside something else is a child of it and you can also say it like this this paragraph is a grandchild of this body so anyways I'm gonna be saying child and parent a lot so I just didn't want you guys to get confused I think I'll you know mention that so let's go ahead and add some pet excuse me I uh, saw I messed up here I'll go ahead and say Bucky is the child and mommy is the parent so anyways what would I say I think I say tuna and bacon der that sounds like something I would say so I'll go ahead and throw that in there and I'm gonna add about six actually about five children because that fits nicely in my screen recorder so basically my setup is this I have a div mommy which is the parent of these five children now these five children all belong to the class of Bucky so you're saying okay Bucky why the heck would you do that well I did that to demonstrate something called a pseudo class now like I said a pseudo class is basically a way that we can have more control over all of the elements or in this case all of their children so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys an example of something called the nth child which pretty much allows us to represent one of these children according to a number so say p nth minus child and yes this is a minus or hyphen however you want to say it you can have something written like this and what this would mean is any paragraph that is the third child and we can go ahead and apply attribute to it gets styled I don't know I'll just turn the font green or something so what happens if we go ahead and save this and run in Chrome we can see that any third child that's a paragraph gets styled with that green color pretty weird huh but it's kinda useful and you're saying okay Bucky let me look at this again I understand that if you have a bunch of paragraphs that are children of another thing in this case they're children of this div tag right here then the third child would be green but Bucky this has to be the most useless thing I've ever seen in my entire life if I wanted this effect right here then I could just go right here and apply an inline CSS style to this one it would save me a whole lot of time and I don't gotta worry about this nth child and a number of stupid crap like that well I wanna say this you are absolutely correct and that's why this technique right here using just one child singled out it isn't the most commonly used technique in other words it's kinda useless what people typically do is they add keywords or formulas in here so you could write something like odd and that is actually a keyword that CSS3 recognizes and now whenever you refresh every odd element one three and five every odd child now gets styled that color so we're saying okay that's kinda more useful because then if I have a site that's you know maybe a list of links and I didn't know if there are gonna be 10 links or 20 links or maybe it's a cool site that changes every day now you could have every other one styled and if you have a huge list of stuff it's kinda of useful to change every other color because then it's easier to see so maybe you know you're having a Christmas theme on I don't know let's say you're making a site like YouTube where you had a huge list of videos so every odd one would be green and every even one would be red so let's go ahead and change that and check it out so every odd one is green every even one is red in 
Another way this comes in handy is if you have a huge table, like if you have an auction site like eBay or something, you could have every other row a different color and it's going to make your items a whole lot easier to see. So not only with paragraphs, but you, you can also apply this to table rows and it's going to make your life a whole lot easier. So again, that's what they more commonly use the nth child for instead of just singling out one element. And another thing I want to point out is you can also write formulas in here like uh, 4n plus 1 or something. And you can use these complex formulas if you want to say only turn every four rows blue. Ooh, my voice crack right there. That's kind of embarrassing. Sorry, I'm just starting to go through puberty. A lot of changes in my life right now. <laughs> but anyways, if you want to like change every fourth row, like 4, 8, 12, 16, blue, you can do that using these formulas as well. But we don't got time for formulas for this tutorial. I got to move on to the negation pseudo classes in the next tutorial. I got crap to do. I got puberty to go through. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.